come from? You know, I, don't, I don't know. Where did that come from? I'm a clown. Do I amuse you? <laughs> what makes me so funny? You're just being you, dear. You're naturally funny. That came from a movie. Mm. So, welcome to episode three of Cooking with Fred. <sighs> Say hi, Fred. Hi, Fred. <laughs> We're so. making another plated box. Mm. Not sponsored, but if y'all want to, give me a jingle. All right. So we are cooking roasted chicken au jus. Is that how you pronounce that? Mm -hmm. He didn't want to do the salmon because it had nuts in it. And yeah, he wasn't a fan of that. And he didn't want to do the spaghetti because it's vegetarian. So we got, the meat. The, we got this one. Well, yeah, you got to have meat with your spaghetti. You need fluffy um, meatballs with your spaghetti. <laughs> And it's spaghetti, not pasta. Are we going to go there again? You're going to get me demonetized again. No. All right, so we're going to no. cook this roast chicken thing. I guess we better read the directions first. So this homey dish that one of our chefs lovely called Freckles when she was a little for the chives sprinkled on top is comfort food for, for with a sophisticated touch. Crispy chicken, white wine sauce. Oh, heck, I'm already there, man. White wine <laughs> sauce. Hey, you already started drinking the wine. With pea-studded orzo. That's a pot, little pasta. That's a little pasta. It's pea-studded. I didn't know peas nice. had studs in them. Nice. And it makes for a crowd-pleasing dinner that's easy and delicious. Okay. Okay. All right. I like that white wine. White wine sauce. I'm thinking I might not have to chop too many things this time. Chicken, peas. Look at the cute little baby chicken broth. It's so cute. I usually buy the big giant one. Yeah. You got everything you We've need. We've got butter, cheese. Oh, look, and you got um, white wine. Spice mix. Ch oh, I have to chop the chives, I bet you. And look, you got white wine. <laughs> wine in a bag. Yeah. There's no cork. Flour. Don't need a cork, screw. This is probably Thank yeah, breadcrumbs. Bread Orzo and a lemon. I bet you have to, uh, I bet you need uh, flour and an egg. Mm. No, you'll need olive oil, kosher salt, and black pepper. Kosher. See? Well, everything we do like is kosher. Okay, olive oil, right here. Here, look. So I need to um, rinse and slice the chives for you and cut the lemon in half. Okay. What do I got to do? We need flour. It's, there's a little packet of flour over there. Perfect. My only gripe with the plated boxes is they come wrapped in an awful lot of plastic. The light is really bad. Sorry, guys. It's very bright out. with your choices that way, dear. Be the rebel you are. My hands are clean. I hope your hands are clean. Yeah, it's a good thing. 
I just got done watching embarrassing bodies about people who don't wash their hands. Oh. If y'all don't know what that is, yeah, look it up on Netflix. It's a UK TV show. Mm. Be forewarned. Parts of it are disturbing. Yeah, I won't watch it. <laughs> I'm gonna take the seeds. That's there's anything wrong with it. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna take the seeds out of the lemon here, so you don't accidentally get one in the food. That'd be the pits. <laughs> it would be because I'd rather not break a crown. Thank you very much. I think we need a pot for some water. Whoops. Yeah, we need a pot to boil the orza. Oh, well, I got money for my chicken. Okay, well, except I'm vertically challenged, and I can't reach up there. You can't get that. No. That right there. No. This right here. No. No. Not everybody's tall, you know. Take a, take a pan. Take a pan. Any hold pan. On, hold on. We need a bigger kitchen. Do we, do we really need a bigger kitchen? A bigger kitchen with lower shelves. Hmm. Well, then it's too low for me. Perfect for me, though. Because, see, I read the directions. It said, first thing, preheat oven to 375, which you didn't do yet. Well, you didn't tell me to do that. Bring a medium covered pot of um, a medium covered pot of water to a boil over high heat. Covering the water helps boil it faster, supposedly. You told me to bread the chicken. Do the chicken. So no, the I. Chicken. You told me to do the chicken. Did I say that? I didn't. You say said that. do the chicken. I didn't say that. Uh, that's what I heard. <laughs> I heard do the chicken. I gotta bread the chicken and see the chicken. I think you're hearing things. Do we need? To, do we need to have your hearing checked? Huh? What? Huh? What? what? Okay, okay, pasta. Oh, so we're gonna sear this and then cook it in the oven. Because yeah. you wanna finish it, you don't wanna eat pink chicken, that's how you get salmonella. Sal who? <laughs> sal. Mm -hmm. Sal, you don't wanna get sal. Sal is bad for you. Sal is bad, no yeah. sal. Sal is bad. Okay, no sell. I gotta pack down. The oh, we only need half of the lemons. I can put one half in a Ziploc bag and put it in the freezer. Okay. And we need. Uh, we have to pack down the uh, the chicken. You gotta play with your meat. I gotta pack down my meat. That's what I do. I found my meat. Be terrible. I think Jesus you, Christ. I think you need more wine for this recipe. I don't know. It's probably cheap wine. It's not in a bottle. It's in a bag. Who drinks wine out of a bag? I meant this one that you poured for yourself. Oh, that one. Yeah, I'll, I'll drink <laughs> that one. I can do that. You gotta pat it down because of how gooey it is. Well, don't get the chicken juice all over everything. It's all over my hands. We'll get sal then. We don't, don't want sal. We don't want sal. Sal is bad. Oh. It looks like sal goo right there. Ew. Gooey sal. Ugh. I'm gonna have to sterilize the countertop. Well, we have to get some um, disinfected wipes. Clorox wipes. Nope. Eh, eh, eh. Oh, oh, they're no, not, just, sorry, not sponsored either. Not but sponsored. if you all want to, give me a jingle. 
they use, we need to use well, we use disinfecting wipes, wipes everywhere. They're handy. Ooh, you want to tip that off? I think that's gross. That looks, that looks like sal right there. That Get rid of some like, excess yeah, sal. Nastiness. Cut some sal out. Oh. Oh. oh, really? Looks nasty. That's nasty sal. Don't clean the pan out after you put the chicken in the oven. No, why not? Because you'll need it to make a sauce. I like sauce. See, I'm coating the chicken here. Coating. I'm coating Sal. And I'm gonna not playing with my meat. I'm just coating my meat. Gotta coat your meat, dear. Um. We're going to change up the directions a little bit, but I don't really want to put my frying pan in the oven. So we'll use the glass pan. So after you get the chicken seared, put them in here. Okay. I don't want to put that pan in the oven. I think that's a bad idea with that particular pan. That's a good pan. Yeah, but I don't want to put it in the oven. No, we don't. Absolutely not. Okay, so like three minutes on the... How long should I uh, cook this for, dear? Um, heat a little bit of olive oil in the pan. Oil is simmering. Add chicken and sear until lightly browned about three minutes per side. And then transfer it to the baking dish. Okay. I can do that. And then we'll make the sauce. I love sauce. None of these recipes seem to take very long to make. They all seem to be pretty quick. Which is good. Oh, 35 to 45 minutes. It's not bad. Roast chicken au jus with orzo and peas. Hmm. Probably didn't pronounce that right. Try not to sneeze on the chicken either, since you're still sick. Uh, if I sneeze on it, I'll make sure it's cooked. And be uh, and, uh, so. This is the picture of what it's supposed to look like. Somebody said in episode one that we didn't show the plate, and we didn't, because we didn't expect to make this a cooking series here on YouTube. But we will try to show the plate. This is what it's supposed to look like. We'll see if what ours look like. I don't know. It'll look better. Maybe. It's going to look so good. You're just going to want to like make your mouth water. <laughs> Have some more liquor and let more of your New York come out. Make your mouth water. He's from Queens, by the way. Born and raised. Let's get rid of this. I don't need this anymore, right? No. Good. I'm dumping it. Has that been three minutes? No. Good. I don't think so. Not that you're timing it or anything. Just brown it on both sides and then put it in the pan. See, it should look like this. Well, what does that look like? It looks like that. It looks like that. Yeah. See? Move flat. See? That's what it looks like. See? Maybe. Can you see? It looks good. Well, I'm trying to see. I can bring the folks over there so they can see. Yeah. It looks good. When the water is boiling, we need to put the pasta in over there. It's almost boiling. Pasta. That is the bag of pasta? Or just the, take it out of the bag? In the water. Should we, should we take it out? Uh, it doesn't say to add salt to the water. Okay, here, watch out. Let me, um, let me use a disinfectant wipe here and clean everything off because I had to work with my meat over here, so. <laughs> I was patting down my meat, I was drying my meat, I was getting sal off the meat, so. 
We don't want Sal. Sal needs to go away. Sal needs to go away. No Sal. Sal is bad. Lighting's a little better over here. We like his face. Don't okay. we like his face? Wood is boiling. Tell him we like his face. Hey, the wood is boiling. They're over here. Well, throw it in. What do you think here? Looks good? Pretty yeah. Soon? Put it in there. There you go. Yeah, it looks good. So you need to put the wine in. Where? In there. In here? Don't rinse it out. Oh. I ain't touching it. Should mm -hmm. I, I turn the heat off though? No, no. You're no? Not, you're not done. You're going to make the sauce in that pan. Oh. So I gotta put this in? Yeah, we were supposed to toss some sauce in there. So I mean salt. What is this? Salt. salt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How much have you had to drink? Nothing. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> Maybe that's the problem. Okay. Okay, so... Oh, so if I cook the wine, that means all the alcohol is gone. Watch out, it's dripping. Uh-oh. Here, take care of that, would you? you take yeah, care. yeah, yeah. Okay. Wine is too much wine in there. Now what? Um, add wine. Cook scraping up brown bits from bottom until reduced by half. One to two minutes. Uh, add chicken stock and juice of half a lemon. Excuse me of being a neat cook. Ever. But you knew this. So I got to put this in here? The broth? Uh, chicken. Stock, stock right? Stock and the um, juice from that half and lemon. Okay. I'll let that go. I have to let this reduce. Yeah, that's pretty good though, dear. Does that reduce? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then juice of half a lemon? Yeah. Just squeeze it? Yeah. Squeeze the crap out of it. Yeah. I gotta <coughs> squeeze my lemons. Isn't there a song about that? Um, squeeze my lemons. Squeezing something. I don't know about lemons. <laughs> Wasn't there an old uh, Led Zeppelin song about squeezing lemons? You know, the I lemon. always fail that test about the, the lemon music. Song. I always fail the test about the music. Why do you always ask me about the music? I have no Enjoy idea. Easy. I have no Players idea. Win? to bring it back to a boil and simmer until the sauce is slightly thickened. Okay. Remove from heat, stir in half of the chives, and then salt and pepper to taste. Oh, I leaned on the refrigerator oh. on that little keypad. Dealy Bob. The Dealy Bob? The Dealy Bob. <laughs> So you got to put this in the oven for a couple minutes too? Yeah. This whole thing? It smells very lemony. 
12 minutes and then I'm like, uh. Stop boiling. 12 minutes. I know I did because I turned it down because it was overflowing. Okay, it'll come back up again. You know, it's not going to be good when I've read the same set, set of directions three times and I'm still rereading them. It's not probably a good sign. No. How can you be rereading them? You think it's going to change? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's the problem. If it ain't going to change, it's always going to be the same. Okay, so we have the chicken in here. God, these look so good. These are so delicious. So, we're going to pour this in there and then put it in the oven? Not yet. Not yet. No, but I'm saying when it's ready. When it's ready, you're going to put half of the chives in there. Half. And add salt and pepper to taste. Okay. Then you're going to put it in with the chicken, and we're going to put the chicken in the oven for about 12 minutes. And some salt and pepper. To my taste. Yeah, yeah. Your taste that's all messed up because of your cold and the alcohol? Yeah. Hey, I got good taste. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I married you. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm Let's see. Fred's got real good taste. Of course he does. Like you said, he married me, didn't he? That's right. Fred's a good guy. <laughs> right, Cindy? Fred's a good guy. See? So we cook the orzo till it's al dente, then drain it, return it to pot, add the peas to it, and then when the chicken is done, plate it with the peas and orzo on the um, bottom of the plate. Oh, uh, let's see, wait. Ooh, it's boiling. Finally. Oh, stir in butter. Can I make it al dente? You mean just. And salt and pepper. And then add it to the plate, top with a piece of chicken, leaving sauce behind in the pan. Stir in remaining butter into the sauce to melt, and then spoon over chicken. Garnish with remaining, remaining chives. So half your chives are cooked, and half your chives are raw. I like raw chives. Who don't like raw chives? I guess nobody. I guess people who don't like onions, because they're, onion, they're in the onion family. They are. I like shallots. Mm, I like shallots. Do you like shallots? Mm. I don't like chopping them, but they taste good. Mm. They're a pain like, in the ass to chop up. Mm. I like to say chives. I don't like to say shallots. <laughs> I like chives. I'm eating some chives. Is that al dente enough? Uh, Test, taste I have it. No See idea. if it's al dente enough. Ow, I have no idea. You have sal manila and al dente. <laughs> sal we don't al. want sal. Sal is bad. But we want al. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. We have those, um, yeah. We're going to plate it in these. What do you think? Want to use these? For the, uh, for the plating? Oh, sure. The fancy fancy square dishes? We're going to use fancy square dishes. It's not going to look like the picture. They're square. It's not going to look like the picture. It's going to look better. Better. Put this over here. What's this stuff here? Parmesan cheese? Yeah. When is that going? We haven't gotten there yet. Oh, cool. It's 0.5 ounces. So you put... Um, Sauce in with the chicken, and then you sprinkle it with Parmesan. Oh. Before you put it in the oven? Yeah. Oh. This stuff has to reduce a little bit too, right? Yeah, you just want to thicken it up a little bit. Come on, guys. Get thick. Not very thick. If we watch it, will it happen faster? Yeah. Okay. Well, it is boiling, so we're halfway there. Keep stirring it, goes, the, goes faster too when you stir it. 
We always have so many dirty dishes and garbage after we cook. Why is that? Well, we need to like maybe throw the shit away. We can't let garbage. I mean, I mean, throw the stuff away. Oh. It's too late. I've already been demonetized on uh, this video. I think. Yeah. All right. Well, we so. should have start. We should have emptied out the garbage before we started. Yeah, we weren't thinking about that. Yeah, I didn't know. Why would I know? Okay. I'm gonna throw some half the chives in here. Okay, and the lemon, oh, you got the lemon in there already? Of course. I was supposed to do that. And you got your salt and pepper in there already? I did. To, I, I uh, did it to taste, remember? Because I've I got such great taste. Oh, yeah. Don't you remember well, these ones? It's like the Red Cross ladies telling you you're perfect all the time. Clearly, she knows what she's talking about. Seriously. Careful. Yeah, yeah. Peas. I love peas. Who doesn't like peas? I love peas. Butter. A lot of people don't like peas. Crazy people don't like peas. Right? Communists, that's it. Lord, now we're going to get comments about your oh God. political no, it's just satire. A, yeah. Holy cow. Oh, God. Yeah. He's joking, people. Well, sort of. My address is 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, Washington, D.C. Oh, boy. Will you stop? Send all letters to there. Oh, yeah, yeah. I... Can you get me in so much trouble? Okay, I think this is ready to go. Okay, so pour it over the chicken. And then, we'll, okay. Oh, the whole thing? The whole thing. The whole kit and caboodle? All of it. Kit and caboodle. I don't know what a caboodle is, but I know what a kit is. You really want to tell me you what a caboodle, caboodle is? Because there actually was such a thing. Uh, Back in the 1980s. Yeah, I don't know what a caboodle is. It was a makeup storage container. A caboodle? Called a caboodle. I think they got it from something else. Maybe. Okay. There you go. In the oven, 12 minutes. Okay. At 375. Yeah. Holy shit. Bob me. Holy smokes, it's hot in there. <laughs> Timer, 12. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, uh, twelve, right? There yeah, you go, 12. twelve. There you go. Sit. I can sit back and relax. I'm done for twelve minutes. You know what this doesn't have? Hmm. Dessert. Where's the dessert? We didn't get dessert. We forgot about dessert. Well, we got chocolate covered strawberries, but they were supposed to be for tomorrow. That's for tomorrow. It's Mother's Day tomorrow. That's for you and uh, and for you. Yeah, don't say me and Rebecca. Our I didn't say Rebecca. I did me. not say Rebecca. Seriously. I did not say that. My child is not. She's a lot of things. Brilliant, beautiful, successful. She is not ready for a baby. She could barely handle a puppy. Oh, God. She was a wreck. Right? A wreck. Oh, Train yeah, wreck, yeah, I tell yeah. you. All right. We're going to get the chicken cooked and I'm gonna see if he'll take out the garbage we'll be right back okay so the whole cooking with Fred thing the names an inside joke but what I want to say is if we can do these kind of cooking things together without paying a lot of attention and having little skill <laughs> and a glass of wine or two yeah liquor yeah. him well, yeah not liquor glasses of wine this time it's a glass of wine. Well, that's what it was last time. Anyway, if we can do this, you can do this. And it is a fun way to spend time together, cook a healthy meal, not eat crap. Yeah? 
Um, if we sound less than energetic like the last two episodes, it's because there's a lot going on here. We've both been fighting a cold, and we will fill you in on some of the stuff that's going on at some point, but we can't say too much right now. But there is, yeah, there are some big changes coming up, and um, all good. Um, but anyway, we have a lot of fun doing these um, kind of pre-prepared recipe meals, so I'm looking forward to doing them. Maybe trying a different brand. I know there's another grocery store not too far from here that used to have a different brand of these, so I'm interested in going over there and seeing that, you know, Knob Hill used to have mm. something like this. Well, you know, there's also websites that send you food, like I think Blue Apron. Blue Apron, and, and there's a fresh, someone fresh something. Something, yeah, and uh, they have some pretty good foods that you can order, I think like on, on a uh, automated basis. Yeah, and you can do you different can just, intervals, yeah, like right. once a week or once a month. So, so I think we're going to keep doing this because we have fun to have, have fun doing it. So, um, I hope if you guys want to keep seeing it, let us know in the comments below. And uh, we're going to just wait on the chicken five more minutes. Yeah. And if you have negative comments, uh, type it out, but think about it overnight, and then come back the next day and just delete it because you probably didn't want to do it anyway. Well, if they don't delete it, I will. Well, yeah. <laughs> But never write Constructive anything criticism is more than welcome. Nastiness is not. I will delete it. Just FYI. Yes. Never send a post based on based on anger. No. Because your chances are you're going to regret it later on. Probably yeah. Think twice. Think twice. Think twice. It's like measure twice, cut once. Cut once. Yeah. Think twice, type once. Yeah. Think think twice. Hit send once. Yeah. There you go. That's yeah, 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 yeah. it. That's my message. Think <laughs> twice, send, one, send once. Have some more wine, dear. Um, I am. Okay. Anyway, we'll be back in a minute. Yeah. One minute. One minute and counting. So we have our our dishes. I'm going to take the orzo while we're waiting for the chicken. And the I'm al dente gonna, orzo? Yeah, and peas. I'm going to put it in the bottom. And see, <clears throat> we have the um, Parmesan cheese here. You're supposed to put it on top of the uh, chicken before you put it in the oven, but I like it al, al dente. Lying. Al dente. He's lying. No, I'm not lying. I like it al dente. I don't want to. I don't want. You know, it's like when you go to the restaurant and they say, Would you like more, sir? More, more. Just say when. Just say He's when. Lying. We forgot. And it's like, you know, they don't cook it in the back. They bring it out in front and they, and they plate it it's during the plating. See? We forgot. What's up with this uh, cube of butter? Butter. That's for, we haven't gotten there yet. Oh, good. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Bingo. Spread out, watch out. Hot stuff coming. Hold on, easy. Watch it. The rest of the chives on top. Yeah, do you want to play cameraman or do you want me to? No, you know what I was thinking? Why don't we cut these up ahead of time and place the cut up pieces on top? What do you we think? Could, we could do that, it'll be prettier. It'll be prettier, and this way we're portion controlled. Well, you want to. You know to, what I mean? Yeah, you want to just cut them up on this cutting board? No, I'll just kind of do it right here. Okay. Can I have it? Maybe. Maybe? So. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to cut this up here into nice little pieces, strips, so that we can, number one, you can make sure that it's fully cooked, which so We don't want Sal is. to come visiting. We Sal needs Sal. to go away, so it has to be not pink in the middle. And then this way, you can say, well, I don't want a whole breast. I just want like three pieces. Well, you know I'm going to say that. You know you're going to say that, right? Yeah. So if I cut this up here, you can say, well, I only want three out of five. And I can say, well, you can be, you can do that. I don't know why, but you can do, definitely do that. Again, if you want to be a communist, that's fine. Just kidding. Again, really? emails to one uh, to sixteen hundred Pennsylvania Avenue. Ah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so. So you arrange, arrange them I'm, on the plate prettily. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this one here. This one here. Look at that. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, that's look at that. That's pretty. That's pretty. 
I'm going to grab this other piece here. So for the next part, you got to get all the chicken out of that pan because you got to add the butter to the sauce. At the, butter this sauce? Uh-huh. Oh, well, I'll make sure that I have the rest of the chicken. I love chicken. That's If that's mine, that's plenty for me. Right? Because you don't need the whole piece. No, that's, yeah, probably sometimes, too much for me. You know, we have male privilege, and males want more chicken than the female. I may, so. I may be thick and fluffy, but I'm not thick and fluffy because I eat a lot. I'm thick and fluffy because I don't get out and walk enough. We want to have portion control where the lady so can say, trip. you know, I want to keep my girlish figure and only have four out of the five pieces. Where the guy may say, you know, I'm a big burly guy, and I could, I could, uh, I could eat six out of five pieces. Grab the one from the lady. And not be, you know, and still, still be, still be a, still be a good guy. So I'm gonna do this here. Do that there. Oh, nice and tender. Look at that. It just kind of falls apart on the bone. Okay, so no, there's no bone, but it falls apart. There you, you gotta go. put that other butter thing in there. In, in the here. sauce, yeah. Put in the it sauce. And stir it around. And I'm gonna put chives on your chicken. All right. All right. Of course, I don't have my glasses on, so. That makes it hard to know what you're doing. Nah. Just kind of feel your way through it. Yeah, your old man eyeballs can't see what they're doing. Oh. Look at that. I got it. I got it down. I got it down like a sign. It's a sign. <laughs> so. So we got some nice clog artery, artery clogging um, sauce here. With butter could be worse. Could have bacon fat and butter. Oh, oh man, we should put <laughs> some bacon bits in here, man. No, because bacon goes with everything. <laughs> Lord, I had to say something. Oh, we had bacon on this; that would make it so much better. Oh boy! Once that's melted, you pour the sauce over the dishes. Okay, hold it, hold it. Hold and it. then, because we forgot the Parmesan cheese, we need to sprinkle oh. that in. Hold the tater. I don't. I don't. Poor. I ladle. Ladle. I knew you was gonna say that. I, I ladle. See here, look at that. Look at that. See that. Oh, shit, shit. Nope, excuse me. Damn it. Oh, I got don't, it. Don't yeah, don't grab it with your bare hands. I'm just gonna bring it over here. Hopefully our formica can handle it. Or not the It's uh, not the Formica, Korean, it's Korean. Korean. <laughs> the Corian can handle it. There you if go. it was the old Formica, it would have a hole in it. Oh, all yeah. the times oh. that we end up doing that. Look at that. Look yeah, at don't that. Put all the juice on your plate. Put some on mine. I got a whole I got a whole thing of juice here. I got more juice than you can handle. And then don't forget to put the cheese since we forgot it. And yeah, that was a loaded statement. Wow. Gonna get demonetized. Holy cow. Again, all emails, sixteen hundred Pennsylvania Avenue, oh, Washington, DC. One triple zero one one. There you go. Okay. How do you even know that by heart? <laughs> like I know crap by heart. I can tell you about paint colors and mixing paint. Oh, look at that. That looks mm. delicious. Oh, my it God. It does. You need the cheese for it to it's, look really good. You know what it looks? It looks savory. <laughs> Everyone we've made so far of these dishes not only looks good, it tastes good. Well, here. i got a little bit more here. Let me just... I, I don't want to... I want to use it all up. I don't want any leftover. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Mm -hmm. There you go. Tell you what. I'm going to grab another one of those guys here. Janet, you're gonna get the rest. Look at that. You're gonna get the goo. Because you got the chicken, extra chicken, and I get the extra goo. That's right, you get the extra goo. Okay. Don't forget the cheese. It's right here. Gotta get a knife for uh, no, scissors. Are right here. Scissors. Again, all emails go to. 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, Washington, D.C. You know who lives there? The, what, the president. Exactly. I'm not that much of an idiot. I could say send it to Jerry Brown in, in uh, California. but well, Don't get people started he with politics. I don't think he can read. Anyway. Oh, Lord. He's too old. Oh, my God. People don't. Anyway, oh, I'm going to give you all Bob's email address if you have political comments. Direct them to him. I'll make sure he's copied political. and pasted. 
wasn't being political. Oh, seriously. I'm not. Oh, look at that. Wait, wait, hold it. Let's put this over here. Let me just move this over here, clean this up a little bit since we had a little sh sh schmutz on the schmutz. counter. We got schmutz on the counter. Let's get rid of the schmutz. Okay, so there you go. That's our roasted chicken au jus. So that's what it's supposed to look like. Yeah. That's, that's what, reality. That's what it does look like. Better. It's better. And I do have to say, I like these meals. Not only are they easy and fun to make, but you get these recipe cards with them that you can hang on to. And so if you want to make it again, you can. Yeah. I've been saving them because, of what's course, this, yeah. What's this called? It's called Roast roasted chicken au jour. Au jus. Au jus. Done. Done. Period. All right. End of story. That's it. That's our dinner this weekend. I hope you're all having a great day and a great dinner. And... Uh, hanging out with your family, cooking or playing games or something, having fun. Don't forget to go out and do something nice for yourself. Like maybe do one of these things. Now, if you're going to pair this with a wine, I would recommend a Chardonnay, something from the Napa Valley or from Morgan Hill or South San Jose. Right. So um, a Which nice good Chardonnay, do. something that's good and buttery with, with a hint of um, some spice at the end would be great. That's what we have here. So I'm going to enjoy my dinner with a bit of Chardonnay. Stop that. <laughs> Everybody ha do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And we'll see you in the next episode. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.